Rise and shine, wild ones, it's Ben again. I'm here with your daily pick a card tarot reading for Tuesday, November 17th, 2020. And cracky, guess what? It's the kangaroo. Yes, it's the kangaroo. And that's it, I'm done. I'm done with my Australian accent, but uh, oh my God, one of the greatest dreams is to spend a couple months in Australia uh, or maybe even live there part time. So when Kangaroo showed up today, especially on a Tuesday, because, uh, you know, this is the bounce, 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 bounce day. Let's go. Let's get her done. It's the sacral chakra. Um, I am like, oh, my gosh, the, the, um, the kangaroo's pouch is down where the sacral chakra is. I can't even believe that this animal ally showed up today. And then I was like, what are you talking about, for God's sake? You made the Ark Animal Tarot Oracle. Are you ever surprised by what the animal allies will do and the miracles they, they produce anymore? Yes, I am. I am definitely still like a kid when I see miracles. One day I'll grow up, but that's not today. So let's talk about kangaroo. Okay, y'all, listen. It would seem um, that kangaroo medicine is straightforward and simple, but and it can be if that's what you need it to be for today. Um, the remember the ruling planet today is Mars and it's a very aggressive let's go let's get it done we got to move we got to move with a sense of purpose and that uh, you know some people can mistake aggression for it being a little much or a little negative I you know says the triple Scorpio I love me some Mars energy uh, because it is about getting things done but what I love how kangaroo uh, equates to all of this is, did you all know that when a kangaroo takes a leap, uh, you know, one leap for mankind, one leap for a kangaroo, it can be 30 feet. 30 feet, you guys, who can jump 30 feet? It's craziness. So whatever kind of things you're going to get done today, uh, do them and they're, just know they're going to come in big leaps or whatever you're going to plan for the rest of the week or, you know, for the rest of the year or whatever. Be sure you want to take that move forward because when you do, it's going to be like, wow, wow. And the other thing that I feel like uh, this reading is telling you guys, uh, you know, <laughs> um, in Australia, they call groups of uh, kangaroos mobs. And every time, I, every time I'm reminded of that, every time I see a kangaroo, all I can see is that West Side Story scene where they're like, when you're a jet, you're really a jet, you know, and they're all moving and bouncing forward and they've got the little high steps going. So um, you, you're, you and your mob may be, do, may be doing some really big quantum leap kind of stuff. And what I love about that is that doesn't necessarily mean, if you all wonder what I'm doing, I can't stand on sitting cross-legged in my chair, so I'm adjusting myself so I can sit cross-legged. Um, those quantum leaps you may be doing, let's say that you're part of a psychic circle or a tarot circle or a clairvoyant circle or a healing circle or whatever, as a mob, as a collective, um, once y'all guys get done singing, when you're a jet, you're really a jet. Uh, when you're a psychic, you're really a psychic. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta film me and my friends doing that. But um, you guys might be making some crazy huge leaps in your consciousness, in your psychic abilities, in your tarot reading abilities. Um, and you know what? You don't even have to be like with other peeps or other kangaroos. You could just be communing with the universe and you might you, you know when you're in a meditation or you're deep in a, uh, a space where you're bringing in the energy and you're, you're the uh, people at Arthur Finley College, the spiritualists call it stepping into the power because it is. You're stepping into this giant space of power and uh, it may be you and the collective consciousness that's the mob, right? Which is fine. I mean, listen, who doesn't want to have a mob like that, right? So um, when you take a look at kangaroo energy and medicine, and the meaning of um, kangaroo is a spirit, totem, and power animal, I immediately am drawn to the pouch for a lot of reasons. You, you know, it might be the, the maternally kind of mama thing in me, might be that. Uh, but because it does sit at the sacral chakra, and that's, you know, about our passions, and it's about our, our force for, um, you know, like our zeal for life, that kind of thing, I wonder if maybe you're carrying other people um, you know, maybe a little too much. Maybe some, maybe some people that you're carrying in your pouch, uh, you know, they may have outgrown that, and you may be, you may be hefting around a lot more weight uh, than what you need. Wow, than what you need to be hefting around. Conversely, 
you may be in a space where you need to do some carrying around, um, some lifting that maybe you have been putting off, uh, some young things or, you know, because that pouch is for the joeys, right? Um, they're only born, you know, joeys are only born an inch long and they creep, 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 creep from their mom down into the pouches. And uh, another thing about kangaroos is that the joeys don't actually suckle. They, they, um, sorry, that's my phone. It's off, but it's my sister calling and she's on emergency bypass. So <laughs> it'll stop in a second. Sorry, you guys. Um, they, they don't suckle. They don't have the strength to do that. So the mom actually feeds them by using her muscles to push the milk down into the joey. And that's always such a call for me that you, you might have to be working a little bit extra to nurture and feed whatever young thing this is you want to give birth to could be a relationship, it could be something you're doing for yourself, a class, it could be a job, it could be, it could be your spiritual development, your spiritual awakening, it could, it could be your psychic development, tarot reading, it could be any of those things, but it's just a call that it's going to go great, but you're going to have to be the one, and it's, when it's in its infancy, you're going to have to be the one that pushes that, drives that forward. So remember that today of all days, because you might be in a situation, those of you that work, um, you know, even in your own family, today is the day of get it done. It's the Mars energy. You just might be in a place where you're going to have to give some extra effort and just know that that's going to pay off. You're, you're going to have beautiful things come from that. Remember, kangaroo is a mammal. And when we take a look at mammal, um, we take a look at everything earth, you know, very, uh, very grounded in the earth, connected to mother Gaia, uh, life giving, you know, with the uh, the feeding, the, because that's why they're mammals, is that they feed their young uh, with the milk, the so on and so forth. So just remember that on this Tuesday. The other thing is direction. You know, do you know where you're going to? Don't make me sing that song. It's so airy fairy, bubble gummy from the 70s, but it's really pretty. And we all loved it. But, you know, I, I, I don't believe that kangaroos run, run or leap willy nilly. And when you when you take a look at how they are positioned, my God, they have the perfect sense of balance. They use their tail to prop in the back. They've got their two feet. That's the, that's the three numerology. So now we're looking at sacred direction. Remember the number three in numerology, uh, 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 maiden mother crone. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Holy ghost. Why am I, why father, son, holy ghost. I can't even believe, I can't even remember that right now. You, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Good Lord. Oh, <laughs> okay, so whatever direction you're going to take a leap in, please just get yourself some balance before you take a leap in that direction. It, going, going the wrong direction is fine, okay, as long as you are willing to keep your mind and your opinion about the direction that you're headed open. Let's say you hop on down to Electric Avenue and you get there and you're like, oh no. Okay, that happens to everybody. It happens. But are you willing to see that? Are you willing to, um, are you willing to recognize that and change direction? And and if you're not one of those people, if you're one of those people that, by God, I made that decision, I'm sticking to it, uh, kangaroo energy could really help you. That is not necessarily a, a place where you want to be on this Tuesday. You want to keep your mind open to making those quantum leaps because when you do make a leap, the, the proverbial metaphorical 30-foot leap, you know, while you're in kangaroo energy and you leap the wrong direction that far, Okay, that's fine, but just be willing to leap back so you don't keep leaping farther down, you know, the kangaroo hole. Don't do that. Also, you're going to want to ask, listen, these little boogers, well, they're not little. Like, they're. y'all ever seen a picture of a grown man, like a six-foot tall man, next to a full-grown male kangaroo? They're massive in those muscles. It's craziness. The other, <laughs> the other thing I always hear in my head when I feel kangaroo energy for somebody is, Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. 
Oh, Muhammad Ali, you're just such a great shining example to so many people all around the world, me included. Just what a fine, fine, fine human being. But, um, you know, kangaroos box and they can knock, they can knock, uh, they can knock you out. They are no joke boxers, y'all. So if you, while you're going through this Tuesday, you, you may get called upon to be in a little bit of a boxing match and you'll have to decide, do you want to throw a punch or do you want to, you know, what do they call that in boxing? I don't know what they call it in boxing and I'm not doing it very well. I kind of look like I'm doing Bollywood. <laughs> oh, that's my greatest dream is to be in a Bollywood movie, just so you know. I swear I'm going to spend a year in India and I'm going to find my way to be an extra in a Bollywood movie. You mark my words, I will do it. I'll be the ghost of somebody. There'll be all these gorgeous, beautiful, you know, brown skinned Indians in this movie, and then there'll be super white Bernadette in the back. Of, hey, wild ones from India. It'll be great. But, um, and these are, these are the tangents my mind goes off on. Aren't you glad you don't live with me? So, but still, you know, when I say throw a punch, okay, listen, don't write me and say I'm in jail because I punched somebody. I'm not talking about that. This is a proverbial punch. And what that means is there are all kinds of folks out there, you know, teachers of all kinds that will tell you that you know, forgive and forget and do this and do that and so on and so forth. Bernadette is not one of those people. Sometimes you've got to make a stand and kangaroo is a great helpmate for that. And that's what I mean by throwing a punch. Sometimes it is not best in a situation if you just turn around and don't say anything, don't do anything, don't quote unquote throw a punch. And sometimes it's much better if you do the duck and hide. If you, I, I don't know, I'll give it a name like the, 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 we'll call it Bollywood spirituality or something where you're like, I'm ducking, I'm ducking, I'm ducking and let them throw their punches. You know, listen, a wise person once said, I don't know who it was, but a wise person once said, if you keep kicking a stone, who's going to get tired fastest? The stone. So let them just keep throwing their punches and eventually you'll get into your rhythm of doing this and they'll be like, nah, uh, eh, eh, uh, uh. <laughs> and they'll pass right out because they'll be they will have exhausted themselves and gotten absolutely nowhere. And then you can laugh and have a drink with friends and move on about your very business. But, um, you know, these are the things, like I said at the beginning of the video, people think kangaroo energy is like simple. And it's about, you know, it's about making big leaps and it might be about this and it might be about the maternal thing and the mammal thing. Okay. That, if that's all as far as you want to look, that's exactly. And that may be all you need at the moment. But kangaroo can go a lot farther than that. Um, when, you know, I, I, I know that potentially what I'm doing is, um, my God, with the Superman curl today, that one little curl, I'm like, I'm Superman. Uh, I, I know this is assigning human emotions to animals. I know it. But I honestly believe every living thing on this earth has an expression, uh, especially those with faces. I haven't quite, I, we'll get to plants and trees on another day because uh, I'm fixing to do a deep dive into the whole nature thing and the shamanism connection to nature and the whole nine yards. But I, I believe that every living animal, fish, crustacean, whatever, they certainly have their own physical ways of showing if they're happy, they're angry, they're sad, they're whatever. And I absolutely do believe that they feel those emotions. No one will ever be able to convince me differently. I will go to that other world knowing that I know that I know that. Where I'm going with this is, I, I, watch, a lo I watch a lot of animal videos. I don't know that I've ever seen that rough image uh, or facial expression on a kangaroo of any kind, even though I've watched the males go at it like, God almighty, the, the sounds of the thuds of those punches, it just, oh, it gets me right in my gut, but, uh, and I can't watch that for too long, but, you know, I mean, I do spirit totem and power animal and shamanic stuff, I'd be, I, if I didn't kind of know the animals in all of their phases, I would be a terrible teacher for you guys, and I learn as I go along every day, just like y'all do, but I don't think I've ever seen that grr expression. And so I would say that be, be, very, be very vigilant today about other people's body language because they may come up and sucker punch you metaphorically out of the blue. They may not give you the telltale signs before they just take a swing. Likewise, 
you may be in a position today or sometime through the week or whatever where you would be best served if you didn't give any of the telltale signs and all of a sudden, you know, extra, extra, it was the main event. You knocked them right out. Ding, 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 ding. That's it. Game over. Winner. It, you may need to be that. And again, metaphorically, this doesn't have to be crazy. Yes, I know it's Mars Aggressive Energy Day, but there's all kind of aggression. And, and in these, this day and age, just having somebody stand their ground about something, that's considered aggression. Oh, <laughs> you should have been 20 or 25 or 16 in my day. You'd know what aggression was all about. You'd know what aggression was all about. But, you know, there's a, there's a time and a place for everything. And so I, I, man, I just believe in you wild ones. And I know that you make such great decisions. I believe in you. I know that you take these teachings and this animal medicine and energy and you integrate it into your being and doing and thinking and saying. And, and it just makes the world just such a much better place. So thank you for tuning in. I hope kangaroo has been helpful. You know, I always end the videos uh, about the spirit, totem, and power animal part. But really, if it is, um, if it is kangaroo coming to you as a spirit animal, it, it really is time to make those quantum leaps forward, whatever that's going to mean to you. And I always believe that the animal allies want us to lead our happiest life. So whatever's going to make you happiest, make you feel the best, most productive, most worthy, most needed, most wanted, call on kangaroos already coming to you as a spirit animal if you're working through some of those things. If you're a totem, if you identify with kangaroo as a totem animal, man, you signed up for a, a pretty heavy duty uh, sacred contract in this life, but you're really well built for it because you're very used to carrying the weight of others. You, you, you probably might even be in a healing profession or want to be in a healing profession, some kind of saving profession um, or, or want to go into something like that. And uh, it could be a number of things. So if you're one of those people that carry the burdens or the weight of other people, uh, you're, man, I, I honor you. Yes, I do. So um, if you want to invoke kangaroo as your power animal, that's for strength. That is for having the strength to jettison where you want to go, to stand up for yourself, to throw the punches when they need to be punched or when they need to be thrown uh, or dodge them when you need to dodge them. And for balance, again, don't forget kangaroos, you know, they're very tall. They've got their big old feet and they've got that giant tail. And when they rest those on the ground, it's the perfect tripod. So the number three may be coming up for you guys a great deal today. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck so you can have all the magic of all the animals right at your fingertips anytime you want. Uh, again, what's the most what's the most important? No, that sounds like I'm from England. Gee, can I do some Australian accent? Good day. What's the most important thing for today? To stay royal.